Uh, hi guys, um, I received a package today um, from overseas, so I I bought, um, it's basically an upgrade kit for um, the Legacy Trans Transformers Legacy Volcanicus. Uh, I realized that I've been spending so much money uh, for upgrade kits for this guy, so hopefully this is the last thing, the last thing that I will buy for that figure. Um, yeah, I'll open it and uh, see if I receive the correct item. Fortunately, it's the correct item. Um, yeah, and uh, let's see. For this first plastic, you can see there is a crown. I would assume that would fit on SS86 Grimlock's head. And then we have this connector pieces. Um, not sure how... How... Uh, what are what are these for so and then the second plastic has another connector piece and uh, this sword so basically I I just bought this set for this sword so hopefully it it uh, yeah I, I can see that it, it will make Volcanicus a bit more awesome with this sword so um, then the good thing with this sword is that it's a transformable sword so later when I open it um, it basically turns into a shield and uh, this handle part and becomes a regular sword similar to um, G1 Grimlock's uh, sword so let's see if that will be the case on this one so first of all it has this crown so I do have an 8 it says it's 86 Grimlock, but I haven't opened it yet. But I would assume this would fit on his on Grimlock's head. Um, as for Volcanicus, uh, it doesn't fit, so it's too it's too it's too big for for the head. Uh, so it's, yeah, it doesn't make sense. But um, the good thing with this kit, it, it has this five millimeter port or peg on its back so i would assume that uh, grimlock can store you can store this maybe on um dino mode or robot mode so yeah there's that or maybe it's just the peg when they printed it out in the printer so i'm not sure and then we have this we, it has three adapter piece pieces so the, the third one is already on the shield and uh, this is a duplicate of that so it has two of this piece so um, the good thing on this one is that um, it can be a holder so the figure can hold it as long as it has a five millimeter um, hole on his hand and you can peg some five millimeter accessories on either side on both sides rather so it's the same with the one that's on the shield right now. So yeah, um, it's a good thing if you can, if you have those um, accessories from um, other legacy generations figures, um, yeah, surely it will be compatible as well and uh, make your own custom uh, weapons. Then we also have this part. Uh, again, I'm not sure how, how to use this, but it has a peg. So it has this kind of dino teeth, I think. I think you can you can you do this? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, maybe you can connect it here, and then it has it also has a peg here. Then we will check the sword. So yeah, um, it will be better I think if this is translucent, right? But um yeah yeah for for what it is right now it, i think uh, it's still good but as you can see you can see the lines so you can you can know that this is 3d printed um figure then you also see some um the the, the original color of the plastic before they painted it so this is the sword and the good thing with this set as i said earlier so it has this very big 
um, shield. Right now, it's a shield. And then it has this holes on either side wherein you can put uh, these adapters. So, to set it aside. So, as you can see, it's a shield right now. Um, practically, I don't know if you can use this really as a shield, but it's really cool to add this to your figures. And to transform it, so it has a, a hinge right here where you can split this into this. Wow, that's cool. And then, yeah, you just slide the sword. Is it correct? Okay. And then it has a peg on the sword and a rectangular slot on the shield. So you just have to slide it even more until until it yeah until it, you you no longer can slide it and you just have to make sure everything looks good and I'll try to use the other accessories uh, I'm not sure I think it's it's really it's not for these uh, holes I think so yeah, so this is the entire sword, and look at the size of it compared to Volcanicus. So, it's as tall as the combined figure, at least from the tip of Grimlock's head. Um, yeah, then just have to use this, and there you go. Oh man, the... the yeah, uh, because the sword is so heavy, um, seems that the um, hand upgrade kit cannot cannot hold this properly. So, ah, there you go. Uh, look at this set it right now. So, yeah, it looks so cool. So, so yeah, I think it. I think that's it. So, um, it you can also peg it on the back. Wow, that looks cool also. Goes right here. Pretending to grab the sword from the back. Um. Um. So yeah. Um. I think that's it. Um. I think my Volcanicus is great now, but again, I, I need to spend a bit more on these upgrade kits and since they are 3D printed, uh, they are a bit more expensive than, um, let's say, DNA Designs or those other companies that make uh, 3D, I mean, no, those who make upgrade kits for Transformers. So I believe um, as this set is so I think it's it's my Volcanicus really improves the way it looks. Um, I'm still curious what DNA Design can do for this kit or for this for this Volcanicus set. Um, uh, but yeah, um, if you're in the Philippines, I think I can give you the sh I can share you the link where I got the sword and hopefully the the the, the upgrade kits. So yeah. I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Bye.